So we got us a Kirkland beer here. This is the German Lager. This is the last one of the tasters packs I had. I've been uh, kind of forgetting about these for a while. So uh, let's taste this out. Nose. All right. So it smells like domestic pale lager. Huh. Not exactly what makes it uh, so German as opposed to uh, domestic, but it actually is not bad for out of the Kirkland pack. This is definitely not the worst one. I was not a fan of the amber one, and the IPA was it was drinkable, and the amber I found the worst. Uh, some of these cheaper ambers that are synthesized a bit that if they get older or too much light or whatever they kind of fall apart. Oh, uh, this one's actually really hitting the spot. Let's see how it holds up. There's a fair bit of hops in it. Nice sweet caramely taste in the middle. Yeah, a little little extra hops in a lot of the domestic ones, I guess is what they call the German. There's probably a bit of a Saz type or whatever in there. I mean, more of an authentic Pilsner style or something. Ugh. A great bitterness, actually. Um, uh, up front, it's a little bit rough still. Um, but there's a lot of way worse uh, domestic pails, like for... <clears throat> let's see, a lot of lower end... Um, Domestic pails will be far below this. This is actually quite old too. It's probably even damn near expired, really. Oh, well, sure is going down though. And it is at uh, uh, pretty sure it's five, but yeah, five and a half actually. And this is uh, from California, exported, uh, not very thorough, it just says it's, ex it's exported to Vancouver, doesn't say for where, whatever, export to Canada. Of course, Kirkland being the Costco brand, so this came from the Costco liquor store. And that was an exceptionally good deal. Yeah, this, this might be a little bit richer, a little bit heavier in the malts too for a lot, what a lot of uh, pale lager people are used to. And it's definitely got a heavier flavor through the middle and a little little bit hoppier. Uh, a lot of people would maybe like something a little bit lighter. They're used to drinking this style, so just be aware of that. But it definitely, if anyone uh, bitches about this, they're just being tits because it's not, it, it's a... <clears throat> I'd take this over to Miller any day, believe it or not. And we'll find out if it gives me a headache or not, but um, yeah, it's actually not bad. The only uh, d uh, downfall of the Costco Tasters pack of <coughs> this stuff is the amber, I'd say. Um, but I, I, uh, I'm not a fan of those ambers that are, uh, you can taste a lot of the, the shit they put in them for the head enhancement and stuff. And, uh, like unfermentable sugars, whatever the hell they're doing, it's, I can uh, uh, taste it in the, in the lower end ones. So, just make a better Mars and guys. And it would be not a bad taster's pack for uh, for someone on a budget for the beers for that time being. Well, I'm going to give it a, uh, yeah, now it's, it's um, taste settling a little bit. It does taste a little bit strange in through the middle for sure. The maltiness clashing with the hops a bit. Uh, but uh, you could do a lot worse. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 11. Um, so there you go. 
Not too shabby for the price, but definitely not anything I'll probably ever drink again. Unless someone passes one to me. Music! Yeah! And I'm out! Yeah!